I don't know exactly which floor breakfast is on. Morgan. Tends to uh, uh, fruit stick. Sorry? Uh, fruit stick. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Working with a newspaper? Or? Uh, TV show. TV? Yeah. Everyone here is in suits. And I'm just wearing like these house shoes. Can I get the room number? Yes, uh, 2106. This place is so nice that I feel like someone's gonna come up to me and say, Excuse me, you don't belong here. Please leave. Everyone in here is wearing nice suits for like a fancy business meeting. Straight up. really nice breakfast here. Salmon, smoked salmon. I wonder if they have a honeycomb. Some bacon. They got like the honeycomb or something? Yes. Bro, this is like only fancy hotel. Are you kidding me? Look at this. So when you get it out, then it will drip down into this bowl so you don't like, you know? Wow. There we go. Oh, that's Check this out. Getting a piece of literally, a, this is like honeycomb that bees straight up made, you know what I mean? Uh, they didn't even bother to squeeze it into a... That's crazy, look at that. Yeah, that's amazing. I need to get a piece and They of also got like honey on tap. Honey on tap, bro. That's wild. We gotta go to the gym and check yeah, it out there. We have to see it, bro. But we, it's only 856. Eight, It'll leave it in an hour. This is a problem when we come to these places like this. We have to go, 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 go. We don't really ever just stop and just like chill. I know it's good. It's hot sauce though. Look at this bite. Mushroom, mozzarella, and fancy salmon. Good. Actual piece of honeycomb. It's kind of like I'm gonna butter it on there. Mm. I'm still luscious. I wonder how they like, get this honey. Do you have any idea how they get honeycomb like this? Well, that's how honeycomb is like produced in a handmade aisle. Might be the best honey I've ever had. You lost your watch, bro? I didn't lose my watch. I never had a watch. Actually, I did have a watch at USC. It was an Apple watch. I did lose it. The first day I met Connor, I lost my favorite watch. The most favorite watch I ever owned. And he mentioned that for like the next two weeks. Uh, and then it just became a joke. Now it's a joke. Anytime Every time something bad happens in our lives, we're just like, bro, you just gotta remember that you lost your watch. <laughs> and life is over. Because when you really think about it, it's like, you lost your watch. It's okay. Just, it's a thing. Right, like if you went up to someone and you're like, dude, I gotta talk to you. Like a random person, I gotta talk to you, man. Like something, really, something bad happened. Really tough in my life. I, I lost my watch. He's just like, so when are you gonna tell me the thing that was really hard in your life? <laughs> like, exactly. So that's our running joke since we met. I lost footage of me traveling here and I wanted to make a good video, you know, just because I like making videos and be kind of cool. And then I just remember that Silas lost his watch, so everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. At least he didn't lose his watch. But anyway, we're checking out of the hotel. I'm kind of sad because we only got like literally five hours in the hotel minus the sleeping part. So we ate a good breakfast. Yeah. We're actually late. We got to run downstairs right now. Um, but cool place. Let me show you one last view of Leipzig before we have to leave and go to another city. One last view. Here we go. Take it all in. Leipzig, baby. All right, that's it. Straight. Right. Right here, just like this. But like, that's it. Good morning.
bro. At it again. With boy. the with the black bag. Hi, come. Hello, good morning. Wie geht es dir? Mir geht's super. Hast du gut geschlafen? Wunderbar. Mausi! Mausi! How you guys doing? Yep. Yeah. Flying you? Ready? Go! Auf geht's, Deutscher! Yeah! You know, it's so cool, and we talk about this all the time, me and Jan. The fact that, like, seven years ago, if we were, if me and Connor were in the back of this, we'd be in handcuffs. And, like, me and Jan, we would have to run in and fight each other every day. We'd actually, hit, like, be trying to kill each other, which is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that was actually a reality. If me and Jan approached each other on the street, we'd probably be, like, trying to kill each other. And now we can just be like, have a beer together. yeah, we have a beer together. That's so cool. If you have a cool. like Fußpilz, huh? Ooh. Fungi. <laughs> well, he just said it smells like fungi. You know what that means? <laughs> What's about your fungi? Yeah. What well, it smells like fungi? Huh? Yeah. From where? On what? Foot fungi. <laughs> It's time, bro. The cameraman is noticing. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, if you don't have a knife to, to peel your kiwi, you just go, yes. A free knife, right? In scissors. In scissors. <laughs> See, now you just bite this part right here. Mmm, it's a good kiwi. Hey, in Germany, can you throw fruit on the ground? I would say, oh, I don't know, but yes. <laughs> if you're in the forest, dude, it just biodegrades. Yeah. It's actually better. Like, if I throw that kiwi peel on the ground, is everyone going to freak out on me? Because in America, you can throw, like, uh -huh. biodegradable yeah. stuff on the ground. Into, like, forest or grass. Yeah, like, I wouldn't just throw it on the street, but, like, see this? I just threw it in there. Is that fine? Let me know in the comments. Hey, Henry, are you, are you allowed to throw things on the ground? It's allowed. Like, 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 a fruit? A fruit on the ground here. Mm. In Germany? Like no, it's, it's not allowed. To throw fruit on the ground. No, but fruit is okay because it's from the nature. I also a Vespa. I got a Vespa, an old Vespa. Yeah, yeah. You got a Vespa. Where? In Berlin? No. Cologne. No. We know us more than a year and you don't know where I come from. You know, that's break my heart. Cologne. Hey. Yep. Cologne is where I live, but where, where I come from. You come from the north. No, yes. Hamburg. Ost Friesland. No, no not Ost East Friesland. Friesland. Uh, hey, Friesland. you know where you're from? Aus Dangas. Say Dangas. Why did you give me that? Dangas. I don't want that. <laughs> Dangas am Jadebus. Hey, Henrik. Where I come from. Uh. Hey, one day I want to go to your village and wide your Vespa. <laughs> so, guys, let's work. Can you switch off your transmitter, please? All right, so we just got finished filming a scene and we went to this specific type of town and saw this specific thing. I'm not gonna say anything about it. It was, it was very specific. Cut to the next place that I can talk to you guys. I can't you should hear. be on TV. You need your own TV show. I can't hear you. <laughs> this dude is so funny. Ich bin in Dresden. It's my first time ever in Dresden. We're stopping to get some lunch before we head into like the fourth scene of the day. And where else would we stop but a beer garden? A beer garden right on the River Elbe. Is this the Elbe? Elbe. The Elbe? Elbe. This is the River Elbe. There's a beer garden right on the middle of it. On the edge. Look at this. Fantastic. Dresden is a fantastic city. Ooh. How you doing, Heiko? You doing good? Is that a car? Yes. There are over 1,400 different breweries in Germany. That's the official number, but there's probably more than that. Uh, you have at least 1,400 different types of beer. At least, and, and every every brewery makes different kind of right. beers. This, this one's changed every, every month. Yeah, so they actually have a beer calendar here. January, February, March, April, May, they're all different types of beer that they do, special beer. Um, so if you, if you love beer, Germany is the place to go. You know what you want to eat? Oh, uh, you, you, you can go out now before you're done. I'm gonna try this Watzke for the first time. This is a beer that is brewed inside this brewery. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Then I'll take a glass of water. That's great. 
good. Kind of tastes like a, almost like a Weizen. I don't know. I really don't know anything about beer. Bro. Can I have some of your Spargo, to be honest? Yes. Um, I'll let you have some of yeah. mine. Okay, so in Wait, Germany, that's mine? a certain time of year, they have Spargo. I got the same as you. White Spargo. I think so, yeah. With sauce and potatoes. Delicious. What is this? This is not what you got? Yeah, this is what it's, you got. This is this? Kartoffel. Is this yours? What is it? What has you bought? That's hot. I thought I, I, thought I ordered what he ordered. And this is, it's me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> One of the things that I love about traveling. I can do things that I'm going to eat, but I'm not eating. He said, no talking while I'm eating. Every time we come to film over here, I end up eating so much like heavy German food. And I'm not gonna lie, German food is really good. People don't really know what German food is because they haven't really had it. A lot of people have the idea that German food is just bratwurst and beer, but there's a lot of stuff that's really good. Two biggest things that Germans eat, meat and potatoes. Would you agree with that? Meat and potatoes? Meat and potatoes and bread. Yeah, meat, potatoes, and bread. Those are the three biggest things that Germans eat. And and the good beer. And good beer. And the good beer. Right. That's a Zontag Waffelin. Is that made of, it's made potato. of potatoes? Oh. Zontag Waffelin. It's potato. Can I try the? Hollandaise sauce with white asparagus. Dude, what he has is, I've never had it before. What is, how do you call it? I don't I also don't know that before. I also ordered what Hennert got, and these things right here are apparently crushed up pretzels with potatoes. potatoes well, that's a good combo. Oh, man, but I think they forgot to make my meal, because I'm the only one here without food. <laughs> After everyone has consumed their meals, I got mine. This potato thing. It's like thick, bro. Yeah, it's like. Ah. Uh, yeah. You know what? Wow. That's good. <laughs> this is me after I eat a German meal. Put me to sleep. Heiko. I always get super tired whenever I eat at places like this. Henry, uh, <laughs> have a question. What's good everybody? Thanks for watching that video. If you want to see what we actually did during this time in Germany, you're going to have to check out ProSieben Tap. We're going to be making more videos and I'll let you know when those episodes air. So stay tuned to see more. That's why Americana in Deutschland. That's why we're in Germany. Until then, Enjoy these little behind the scenes videos. Count your blessings. Let's go. When it's over, I press rewind. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket. I prayed in my truth for some robbers. And he's playing Batman. Fat, he's gonna rob him. I got the Glock in my robbery. 17 shots, no 30.